Hey, good morning brothers and sisters. I just want to say what a beautiful day we have here in the mountains of Butler. Um, I'm blessed to spend this week with my army roommate Adrian. We've been friends for 24 years. And this man has absolutely seen me in my worst. And uh, I hope right now he's seen me in my best. But the word of God really spoke to me this morning. And it really... Uh, it parallels with what Pastor Matty was speaking about in Acts chapter 16 recently. About Paul and Silas. You know, they were in prison. That By divine appointment, they were placed there. And through them being in prison and praising the Lord in the middle of the night, that every person in that prison encountered the Lord. And even when they had the chance to run, when the prison cells were flung open, they'd choose to remain. And that just shows me that when they felt the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit and they felt heaven upon them, even in prison, they didn't want to be anyplace else. And this morning, during my prayer time, I was in Psalm 66. And you know, Psalm 66, it's, there's a lot of praising in there. But what really spoke out to me was this. Praise our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. So right there, they're saying that their life had been saved and that they were not falling, they weren't slipping into anything, that they were being held in place exactly where they needed to be, right? But then it goes on to say, For you, O God, test us, and you refined us like silver. You... God brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. It's pretty awesome, right? So even here back in the Old Testament, Psalm 66, the psalmist was proclaiming that even in prison, in bondage, that they were exactly where they needed to be because that's where the Lord brought them. In prison, they weren't slipping. They weren't falling away. They weren't in trouble. In prison, their lives had been preserved. So what prisons are you possibly facing? Where are you at in life? Do you feel like you're stuck in a job? Uh... Maybe even a church. Are you with a body of people that you feel like maybe your time is up there? But that might be the exact place that God has placed you. He has tested you and refined you. And that He's going to use you in a mighty way. And something else that really just speaks to me so much right here is... You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. But yet yeah, we went through fire and water but you brought us to a place of abundance so right there I just want to speak out over everybody that may hear this today I just ask God right now that he would place you through the refiner's fire but that you would come into encounter of the all-consuming fire that is the presence of the Lord that you would encounter Yahweh in such a way today that you would still have the fire that would rest upon you like the apostles at Pentecost that it would rest upon you and you would be filled with fire and power and that also as you go through fire that you would go through that water that you would just go through the healing waters of the kingdom of God I want to encourage you today wherever you're at whatever it is that you're doing whatever it is that you're facing when you trust Yahweh and that He has ordered your steps, that you're exactly where you need to be. So, so seek that peace today, but keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, keep your heart hungry, and know that sometimes the prisons that you are facing is going to bring you into the land of the greatest abundance. I love you all so much. You know what? I want you to see this awesome place that I'm at today. Look how beautiful this is. Look how beautiful this is. You know, that's the Lord. He loves us all. I pray abundance over your life today. I pray freedom. 
But I pray that when you find yourself in jail, when you're imprisoned, when you're imprisoned in, in the walls that the world may have placed you in, sing praises today. Be used like Paul and Silas. Praise the Lord in the darkest places you can be. Praise the Lord in the tightest situations that you're facing. And know that there are many walls connected to the wall that you're facing. But that when you speak to it, that those walls are coming down. And everybody that is around you, everybody that sees this, will encounter God today. I love you all. God bless you, brothers and sisters.